Hello, this is Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. Today, I want to talk to you about mental health. Mental health is a big thing in the world. We're talking about it a lot. And I want to deconstruct it. I want to take it apart and look at it so that you can put it back together in the way that serves you. The thing with mental health recently is people are suffering. They're suffering a lot. And the world, those are trying to help, they want to talk about it, which is a good thing. We need to talk about it because mental health is an issue. And I want to go back in time a little bit to how people thought about mental health many, 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 many years ago. Some may say back in the days of the dinosaur. When people had mental health issues like 50 years ago or so or more, they would label people as being crazy. They had all kinds of negative labels to put on them. People hid that they had issues and it was a different world. Now, they, in an effort to try and pull people out of that and to be compassionate and sensitive to people's well-being, their emotional, mental well-being, they've looked into the science of mental health and taken it from you're just crazy to maybe there's a reason. But I think that they have gone too far in a certain way. They have turned it into just throw medication at it. They have removed the experiences of the person and turned them into a pile of chemicals. I, I think that that is doing everyone a great disservice. You are not just a pile of chemicals. You are much, much more and you matter and your mental health matters. I've been reading a book by Dr. Caroline Leaf called Clean Up Your Mental Mess, and I have been fascinated by her science. She is a pathologist and a neuroscientist. Brilliant, I think. In her book, one of the things that she says is, in fact, I'm going to read it because I don't want to stumble over it and say it wrong. I marked it here, too. I think you will find this fascinating. It's enlightening. Toxic stress is responsible for up to approximately 90% of illnesses, including heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. Only five to seven, five to 10, excuse me, five to 10% of disease is said to come from genetic factors alone. I think that's very important because in the, the mental health crisis we have, they chalk it up to it's all in your brain and you have no power. Doing that, it's taken the power out of people's hands under the facade that it's empowering them. That's not right because you're not just a pile of chemicals. Yes, there is cause for mental issues that are in the brain, that are chemical. Yes, that does happen. But I believe it happens far less than people realize. Far less than doctors throw around diagnoses. The, science, the, the psychological community does not know everything and all those little labels out there and diagnoses, they are not fully inclusive. Case in point, this book, the body keeps the score. Dr. Bessel van der, van der Kolk, he talks about like complex PTSD. Do you know that the psychological community does not validate that as a diagnosis? And it's not that we need the label, but we need to understand what is going on inside of us and call it something while we're busy trying to heal of it and to recover from it and to remedy it and to get over it and to get past it. We don't want to get stuck in a label. And one of the things that uh, Dr. Caroline Leaf says in here, she 
is on that same page with how they have done it with the medical community. She said, weighing the cost of, you know, just turning it into, you know, you're just a pile of chemicals. Those are my words, not hers. <laughs> because I'm a simplifier. I take complex words and, you know, I call a tape measure a measure thing. That's, that's how I talk. That's how I explain things. And it makes it simpler, which helps me and I know helps a lot of other people. In Dr. Caroline's book, I have had to use a dictionary and then I write the definition next to it because she, she's very schooled, so she knows words that aren't in my vocabulary. But one of the things that she says in here is, the current medical health care system has largely reduced the source of human pain and suffering to neuropsychiatric brain diseases with symptoms that need to be suppressed with medication or the conditioning of our thoughts and behaviors. Mental health has been subsumed into the biomedical model. It has become something we fear and stigmatize, and this fear in itself is damaging to the mind, brain, and body. And she said this perception of the mental health system comes at a great cost. It's really hurt a lot of people. She's got this big word, neuroreductionism, <laughs> removes a person from their life experiences. And that needs to change. That needs to change. I was just reading today, she was talking about suppression of thoughts because she has an app and a neurocycle and she was doing a clinical study with people who were not using this tool with, alongside those who were using the tool. And the people using the tool reduced their anxiety and depression by 81%. That's a lot without medication. Still validating there's something that needs to be done. I'm not discounting something needs to be done, but you have power. You have more power than the medical community is giving you. And there is time when you need medicine. I am not saying don't take medicine, don't do that. This is not for medical advice. This is to empower you to look at your life so that you can do what is best for you. And reading this part in here, she said there's a significant amount of research indicating that the suppression of thoughts which causes mental distress is related to the telomere shortening and biological aging. Well, what's a telomere? A telomere is a part on the chromosome that is, she, she compares it to the plastic on the end of a shoelace. And when they get shortened, it affects our health negatively. That's a part of our chromosome but we can do things that will make it get bigger. We can improve our health. And so that's why I wanted to talk to you today about mental health, that you have power, more power than just what the doctor says. And I encourage you, if you are struggling in your mental health in any way, do some research. Don't just go to the doctor and take medication. I know someone personally who went to a psychiatrist, got diagnosed with five or eight different things, went on some, um, on a, a med study thing. For six months, they about lost most of their life because they were like a zombie. And those were all misdiagnoses. And now, what they have done with their life because they have done things, they have leaned into it to find out how they could get better. They've leaned to it. They actually got healed from the one thing that was bothering them, the one thing that was, was holding them back in life, which was crippling them in some ways. They were on medication. And I'm not saying don't go off your medication. I'm saying that again. I am not a medical doctor. But I implore you to look deeper. Maybe it's deeper. Maybe get a copy of Dr. Caroline's book. Read that, start there, or get a copy of The Body Keeps the Score. Educate yourself. You have more power than just going to a doctor and taking medication. You might need medication, like I said, but you might not. Maybe you could do something else. Maybe you could get past this. Maybe it's from toxic stress. Maybe it's from the trauma of the last two years of what's been going on in the world. Maybe there's another way. And you deserve what's best for you. 
And I tell you this because I love you. I am Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from survive to thrive. And if you're on medication and it's not helping you and you're just barely surviving, you deserve to thrive. So please do something for you. Buy one of these books. You want coaching to get the courage to do that? Then connect with me. Or even go to my website and search for what will serve you. But get help because you deserve it. Until next time, 